Alright guys, today we're going to install a full conversion mod for Amnesia and uh, this is for the Steam version on a Mac so it's quite different from the retail version, well somewhat different and definitely different from the Windows version uh, similar but yet different so uh, I'm just gonna make a video on how you can install it on Steam Yeah. so uh, I have downloaded White Knight as an example, I'm sure most people would it's just a very famous one, anyways. Uh, I downloaded White Knight and I'm gonna install it and I'm gonna launch it uh, through Steam. And uh, I guess we could just get started and uh, I could explain how I'm going to do this. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm gonna open this folder with all the files that you downloaded. Uh, you should uh, find most of these files in uh, any of the conversion, full conversion mods with the folders like entities and maps and whatnot, uh, main menu, all these folders. Uh, what I'm going to do here though, uh, I'm going to go on this um, list uh, arrangement or whatever, uh, so that I can open all these folders without having to open a new window. It makes things a little easier. Um, and now we're going to have to open the Amnesia um, root folder. Uh, I'm going to have it in the same fashion, but I'm also going to, uh, let's just arrange it by kind so that we have all the folders next to each other. Okay, so here we have the Amnesia folder. This is the root folder for Amnesia. And uh, as you can see here are my editors that I personally use. Uh, you might not have these if you're not working with Amnesia, but you probably do, I'm, I don't know. Well, that that's not something I should know, but anyways. Uh, and then there's the launchers, and then there are all the folders and a few extra files that are just there. Anyways, uh, what we need to do with these folders, uh, we need to merge these. So on a Windows, you would just uh, select all these folders and drag them over and uh, merge so that you would put everything that is inside a folder with the same name. It would move over the files that are matching. So that, But on a Mac, uh, without any additional apps, moving a folder over to another folder with another lo uh, to another location with the same folder already existent it would replace the whole folder and not merge them. So that's a bummer. Uh, so it just requires a little more work. What we're going to have to do, you're going to have to open each of these folders like this. These are the original billboards. Uh, but what you're going to have to do, you're going to have to take the files from the story that you downloaded and move them over to the folder that uh, they are that they belong in. So since these folders are quite similar, I'm just going to drag them up a little more. Since there are, you can obviously see a similarity between um, the folders, names, and all that stuff. Well, it's kind of obvious what you need to do right here. You need to drag the files over to the folder that, yeah, I don't know how to say it, but whatever was in billboards, you drag over to the original billboard of the root folder. And whatever is inside entities, uh, you would have to put inside the entities folder. So let's go to entities right here. And here is the entities. We're gonna have to drag that white knight folder over to entities, and continue on. So with all the other folders, and uh, yeah. So let's just let's just do it a little quicker. Drag this over to fonts, and whatever is inside lang. This one goes a little deeper though. So lang ing. There's English and Russian, and uh, there are still merging folders or. Uh, same name folders, so go to graphics, graphics, main menu, and let's put this white knight menu, main menu logo into the main menu folder so that it looks like that. It, it's right next to the other one. And then we go to the voices level. This one's a little tricky because it has quite a lot of files and some of them merge. Uh, actually, uh, only the two one, the O2 in this case. I'm not sure if this is with most of these full conversion mods, but this one has an O2 folder and the original has an O2 folder. So you're gonna have to merge those, otherwise you can just move over all the other folders. So there I put that inside O2 and I'm just gonna delete O2 from here and then select everything else and move it over to like to level like that. So now we have all that. You can close that folder, carry on to the next one, lights. Let's just speed through this.
materials go in materials and the rest go in the folder with all the rests uh, I think I just put that in the wrong place it needs to be in the correct folder let's select the PS particle systems that is and put them inside here there's a lot of these particles let's put it there and now it should be within particles yes okay WN white knight and that's the particles and let's do the other ones ah oh, crap that was not what I wanted to do close the particles and uh, static objects put the white knight inside static objects right there and textures decals uh, textures decals white knight in decals some of them have a folder that makes it a little easier to arrange them some of them are not I'm not sure if you uh, are required to have a folder or uh, required not to have a folder but if possible then I really prefer it if they have a folder so that they won't mix with the other ones so you can just easily have them arranged like that anyways now we have moved over those there are still these folders which are the white knight config graphics models music and sounds so we're just going to drag them into the root directory anywhere around here so now they're lying right there and uh, that is all you need to do for placing the files and uh, now I'm going to go and and close these a little more and go back to my my usual folder setup like this all right so here we have the ga game again uh, launching it though is, a, is it's a little tricky and this is where it's different from all the different platforms and whatnot so um, uh, so far we've just done what we would do on any platform you would merge the folders uh, manually or with an app or with Windows or whatever you're using uh, but since this tutorial is for Mac I don't expect many Windows people to use it anyways uh, so all right so what we have now we have a lot of empty folders I could actually just delete all of them uh, because uh, they're they're empty I've already moved over all the files so uh, these are what the remaining files the bat file is for Windows only so we can't really use that for anything on the Mac uh, this is a readme file credits and disclaimers so these are just for <laughs> the credits of the original creators and I have personally I haven't played the story but I've seen a little of it and it looks like it's uh, really put a lot of work into it so uh, props to them anyways uh, what we want to actually do to run this game is um, uh, you can open the white knight bat file and uh, this is what it looks like it says launcher exe white knight config slash main in its config file okay so um, launcher exe that part is for windows we don't use exe files on mac uh, but the other part you could copy yourself so if you select this wn underscore config main in it whatever and you copy that this is well you'll see you just open up your steam and uh, this is where it gets a little there are several ways to do this I'm not sure exactly how to make a, a like a uh, how to make a launcher an executable launcher or whatnot uh, because um, uh, since everything has to be run through Steam for the Steam version if you have the retail one you could just uh, make a launcher to launch the launcher app with these as a flag uh, but on a Steam version you can't really launch this because if you double click this it'll just crash immediately uh, not that there's anything wrong with it it's supposed to happen in some way it doesn't crash because there's something wrong but it's just that the Steam version requires it to run through Steam so um, I have found one way though that you can launch this through Steam with White Knight as the launcher somewhat uh, it's not maybe not the most efficient way I'm sure there are other ways but this is the only way that I know right now so um, I'm gonna show you what I kind of recommend you do though uh, maybe keep this file or maybe just make a text file where you paste in whatever was 
we copied this part uh, to save it somewhere so that you remember it so that you can switch back and forth between original and uh, white knight or whatever other story you have all right so you go on your steam and you click on the properties of amnesia and you'll get this little window under general just set launch options it's a small window with a small text you might not even know what this means I don't even know exactly what this means but uh, what you have to do you paste in this and it will uh, overwrite the default well somewhat overwrite the default it doesn't remove anything but it just um, makes it launch from a different folder so if you were to actually locate this file it would instead of launching uh, config main in it this one this file it will be launching white knight config in it GUI no in it uh, main in it this one so you'll be launching this file instead of the original file so if you select put that co uh, little string I could call it I guess down um, if you put this little text in here and click OK on that and I'm just gonna close this as well now if you launch amnesia it should come up with the same launcher again uh, you can just check, uh, mess around with these again uh, but this, if, you, if you launch the game this time, it should launch White Knight instead of the original game. And uh, here we have, and uh, yeah, and here we have White Knight is now running. Create a new patient and whatnot. So uh, yeah, this should work for all full conversion mods. They are uh, the same way you install them. You just merge all the folders and make sure to run the correct file uh, and then you are able to to run uh, yeah to, to run the different menus and whatnot even though most of these are custom stories but they're like extended so extended custom stories with custom menus and whatnot so uh, yeah that is pretty much it for this tutorial I'm just gonna close this game again that's pretty much it for this tutorial but I'm going to show you if you are ever going to click play again and you want to launch the original uh, Amnesia game instead or maybe another uh, full conversion mod go back on launch options, remove this line, click OK and you can now launch the original Amnesia game so uh, that's why I recommend make maybe making a text file for, um, for this uh, for keeping all these texts whatever where you can keep all these um, I don't even know what to call it it's, it's, called, it's not exactly code but you know keeping these little text lines so you can have a maybe like a, a file with listed with all the different custom stories or uh, full conversion mods and you can have the text you need for each of them and then you can just go back here and uh, properties launch and paste it in right there and then you can launch the game again whatever story you would like to play and I don't think there's anything more to say about that so um, yeah if you found this helpful I really appreciate if you would like the video uh, it motivates me to make more of these I know this was a little shorter than uh, some of my other tutorials and it's not exactly about making a custom story but uh, I guess I could eventually come into making uh, a a tutorial on how to actually make your own full conversion mod uh, but it, it's not that hard but uh, you just gotta know a few things anyways uh, if you found it helpful I really really appreciate a like on the video uh, and uh, other than that I'll thank you for watching and I'll see you later